Hi, John Edwards, Coast to Mesa R&D again. Today I want to talk a little bit about Fiat connecting rods and pistons. We're actually going to be modifying a Fiat 1500 motor out of an X19 to go into a Yugo. And we're going to look at what we do to the pistons and what we do to the connecting rods. This is a stock piston. It came out of the X19. As you can see, it has some fairly large valve release. Uh, this is for what we call a free-running engine. So if the cam belt breaks, the uh, valves can stay open, the piston can still go up and down and not hit anything. Kind of a nice feature, but uh, not optimum for performance. The problem we have with this style of piston is that we have unburned hydrocarbons that wind up in these little pockets. And we want to try and eliminate that because we want everything to burn that's inside the combustion chamber. The pistons that I've designed and have made by JE are a little bit different. You can see that the valve reliefs are much shallower than they are on stock. I've also had a contact reduction done to the uh, top of the piston. I've also had an accumulator groove cut in between the top and the second ring. I uh, also have grooves cut for spiral locks, which is a little better system than the uh, spring wires that they have normally. Um, we have a fairly consistent surface finish on the piston. It does have a little bit of a surface to it so it will hold a little bit of oil. Uh, this piston may see a turbo at some point in time and so I want to make sure that I have everything done right the first time through. The wrist pins are pretty much as stock. This is the stock pin, this is the modified pin for the new piston. As you can see it's a lot shorter. Uh, thickness is about the same and we'll see some weight reduction here in a few few minutes. The connecting rods are a forged rod right from the factory and it's a nice piece. A little heavy though. This is what a stock rod looks like and this is a modified rod that I've done to reduce weight and to make the rod a little stronger as well. If you take a look you can see how I've modified the side of the connecting rod to reduce the weight and I've also started polishing on the beams. Eventually what will happen to this rod to finish it off is the big end will be resized, new pin bushings will be put in the top and then the rods will be shot beam before they're reconditioned any further. We're going to put the stock piston on the scale to see how much it weighs. And it looks like we're about 441.4 grams. The modified piston weighs in at about 375.2 grams. Now that's a significant savings in weight alone. The wrist pins, we're going to weigh the stock pin first. And we can see it weighs about 129.6 grams. And the new JE pin weighs in at about 108.6. Again, it's a, it's a significant weight savings. I have the scale tipped a little bit so that it shows up better on the camera. But what I'm going to do now is take and remove my block over here. And we'll reset this thing. And we'll get some more numbers here. From my previous weights on this thing, I found that the stock piston was about 444 grams. The JE weighed in about 377 grams. That's a 67 gram difference between the stock and the JE piston. Or in other words, it's a 15% reduction. On the pins, we have a stock weight of 130.4 and the JE piston weighs in at 109.3, which is about a 21.1 gram difference or about 16%. All of these differences will play a big part in how this engine will rev. The intent for this engine is to make it rev somewhere between 11 and 12,000 RPM if at all possible. Well, stay tuned for more. I'll keep you updated as I get this project underway. See you for now.